Alright, so I have this video of an unboxing, and maybe thinking, what's with this? Well, in here should be some Pokemon cards that I ordered off of a website called Wish.com. Yeah, and you know I spent about two dollars on this these cards, and from what I look, from what they look like, they look like they're fake. But, I'm not 100% 100% sure. But, I do have some fake cards in this. But this doesn't include all my cards. Which I have like, over um, 15, I mean 2500 cards. Or something like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, from what I see. Fake, yeah. Obviously, fake. Yeah. Eh, not even seen anything like this before. And they say, Pokemon Go. Steam Seeds. New cards. The f Really? Oh my god. Really? Yeah. Requaza. Yes. And it's complete bullshit. Garbage. Fake one. Feels flimsy. And look at how offset it is. On the back. And if this was a real card, this would be a full holographic. Like this. Mega. Um, primal ground on. Or even better yet. Um. Like, um. Not the Victini, um. Where the This Sylveon. Sylveon EX. Yeah. Nice and shiny. Yeah. Alright, let's see what we have here. Ooh. That actually looks good. Now it's upside down. Scare Ninja. Dark Cry. Yes. Um, Dust Talk. High Street Gun. Whatever that Pokemon is. Beauty Fly. Dragonite. Seriously? Mega Head Cross. Head Cross. Another Dragon Knight. Another Man Trick. Well, this is Man Trick EX. Mega Slash. Suicide. Full Lord Dust Talks. Um. Pyro Roar. Malamar, yet. Articuno. Hawacha. Hawacha, yet. Don't cry, yet. Pugly. Epion. Bastoon. Yanamag. Nino Queen. Or Nido King. This one. <laughs> so. Basically. This is like a. Bullshit deck. Right here. Cause. I've. Gotten. A lot of booster packs. And even a lot of. These. Um. Card packs. And stuff like that. Um. Uh, from Pokemon. Like. The official stuff. And. Normally, when you get all these stuff, depending on the type of pack you get, um, you do not get this many, um, rares, um, cards like this, like what I've been get, what, like what I got in this. 
and and you rarely even get cards lot like this. Yeah. Um, and even getting a lot of these booster packs and stuff, um, from Pokemon cards and stuff, like the ones you would see at the, uh, toy store, local toy store, or even, like, at a game shop, um, you would get, each booster pack contains 10 cards, and what you normally would get is, one holographic, one reverse holographic, one rare, and the rest are regular common or uncommon cards. And now, getting a lot of these within this pack um, is just complete utter bullshit. Even if you get one of those special, um, one of those special packs that includes, um, one rare card, um, that shows, like, one rare card in the pack, um, and along with a bunch of booster packs, you're still not gonna get this many, um, mega rare cards at all. Really. And plus, these cards feel like they're really cheap cardboard. They're like the same type of cardboard that the pack, the, the um, box that it came in felt like. That cheap of a plastic, that cheap of a cardboard. And even like, the back off-centered and even discolored some. And yeah, and these, um, EX, um, cards should be holographic, um, holographic foil, shiny, sort of like this card, yeah. And even with this deck that I got, Gives you a lot of these really strong um, cards that, or like the third evolution form of each Pokemon, or even the final evolution form of it, of a Pokemon, which is still again kind of like bullshit, and even. Still, um, the printing of this and stuff is a little crap. And all these are marked with, like, a star on it. Like, down in the bottom corner, right here, it's marked with a star. Yeah. When, normally, you would get them marked with a star, circle, um, or a diamond. A diamond means uncommon, a circle means common, and the star means rare. And some of these are just blatantly even rare. Yeah. And even with some of these EX cards, the printing on it is uh, poor. Like, really poor. It's like they took the image of the card from the internet. Um, and just actually printed on the cardboard. Just plain old cheap cardboard. Yeah. And with this one, this one actually looks and feels 
legitimate, although it's not a real one. Yeah. And even getting duplicates of, like, the rare one in one pack is kind of unusual, though. Although you may get, like, boost pack with a duplicate of, like, maybe two, um, fire energy, which, that's common. But, duplicates of, like, for say, two EX, um, type cards of the same Pokemon, uncommon. Very uncommon, and very rare. But even though, this pack is kind of fake, and looks fake, even from the start of it, it's just, like, really bullcrap. Even though it makes it look real, but no, it's not. Yeah, it's not real. Yeah. Pokemon Go cards? Really? They're just basically slapping the Pokemon Go logo on it. Uh, for no reason. When it has nothing relationship with that app game. And even the Pokemon cards themselves. When they were first introduced in 1998 or something like that. Um, they had no relationship to the actual Pokemon games. Like the video game or even the anime. It's just a new subset of Pokemon game. Yeah. And I'll show you some of the other Pokemon cards that I have that are fake. And show you what you can expect and see out what's out there when spotting some fakes. Okay, you've got cards like this. Which... Well... Sorry about that, I had to change out the battery. And what I was saying is that sometimes you would get um, these Pokemon cards that come with um, that a printer with a move that is like not even a real move for the Pokemon or even it's just like a stupid name for a move like for say example this one it says do the wave for this Audino card which says does 10 does 10 damage times the number of your bench Pokemon, which, huh? Kind of a little bit stupidly descriptive. Yeah. And then there's other times where the, um, some of the pictures and stuff on it, like for say, that fighting icon, the fighting move, um, energy. Icon is a little, it's like printed a little bit off than what you would find on a real card. And plus, also, you would see sometimes, like, we'll say this card where it's like it's really got strong. Seems like one of the strongest cards out there, but really, it's not. And even sometimes. Um, the backs can be discolored from, um, the original real cards, and sometimes the cards can even be, like, obviously mis- um, like, printed off, centered a lot, like this card. And plus, there are some cards, like, um, We'll say this one, this mute too, which had spelling errors on it. Like for say example, um, search your Discord pile for 
up to two energy cards and attach the like it goes. Search your discard pile for up to two energy cards. Attach them to Mewtwa. Huh? Does it mean Mewtwo? Not Mewtwa? Yeah. And then, plus you've also got some others like this that don't even really look that legit. They look legit, but there's some key differences in some of these that make them obviously fake. And then there's another misspelling error. It should be agility, not agility. Yeah. And key things to spot out for when buying um, these cards is if you find a place online that selling these for really cheap price and saying that you're going to get like a bunch of EX cards or a bunch of rare cards for only a few dollars. That's a number one key, um, flag. A big red flag there. Like, and second big flag is where you're buying from. If you're buying from, like, a, like, one of those cheap Chinese websites that, like, Light Take, Alibaba, or someplace like that, um, that's another big flag. And another third flag of buying it is basically <coughs> the price um, point of it. Versus like the price point of what, what, um, how much you're paying for all the cards and like what card it is. Because sometimes um, some people would just put up um, some of these Pokemon cards on eBay. They're like the real deal thing, but pricing them like $15,000 or something like that. And claiming it's like a super rare card, when really it's one of those ultra common cards that like has nothing much of a, nothing to it that gives it a significant value. And even then, it's like that. If you buy from, like, a legitimate, um, place, um, like, toy store or game shop or something like that, and it's, like, at really cheap price, like a few dollars, then that's good, because it's on sale or just discounted, um, or something like that. Um, and another, and another, Another big flag is flea market. Um, and even China uh, town shops and stuff like that. Because that's where I've gotten these cards from. Flea markets in China town shops. Yeah, but these new cards are just kind of bull crap. I kind of knew they were going to be fake, but... I just decided, you know what, buy them and see what I what it's like. And even getting this many getting like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven EXE card like EX um card. One full art um card. One holographic. Two legendary um Non EX, um, non holographic, um, non full art cards, and along with plenty of other, um, uh, final, um, evolution, um, form Pokemon cards, all in one pack. Which is like kind of a big flag there. Because, basically, when the factory um, 
put these um, cards into the booster packs and even the um, these um, deck packs and stuff like that. They set it to where you can get only a few EXE cards slash legendary or full art or um, final evolution. Um, those rare the rarity cards in each pack. So when getting this much um is a big red flag. Yeah. And I've even been to the store, looked around, and never seen or have acknowledged the Pokemon company of sticking Pokemon Go onto the um Pokemon card pack. Yeah.